here we go. Earth mode is on, so it's just going to do its thing. Lock me in at 100 watts. It's two minutes done. Feeling all right. Definitely feel it in my legs now. Oh, come on, struggling, struggling. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm done. I got it. I got it. I got it. Good morning. It is a Monday and I've got the day off work. So I've decided I'm going to do an FTP test on Zwift and I'm going to go for the ramp test because from what I've read um, that's the better one to do for an absolute beginner because I will have no chance of properly pacing a 20 minute effort so uh, I'm kind of more set up, good to go. I did have a few beers last night and a buddy came over because it is the 18th of December, we're one week out until Christmas so obviously I got a load of Christmas beers in and uh, yeah, made a dent in some of those. Not at peak physical fitness, but I find myself sometimes waiting to be like at the perfect moment to do a thing. But it's like, no, normalize getting shit done. Let's jump on the bike and see how we do. Okay, so we've jumped onto Zwift and we're having a look at the workouts. There's a bunch of different FTP tests and FTP stands for Functional Threshold Power. So this is how much power you can put out for an hour without blowing up um, at your threshold. So if you put more power down, uh, you won't be able to go a full hour, but less out you'll be able to go longer than an hour, I think is the basic premise of it. So there's a bunch of different FTP tests on Zwift. So the standard FTP test starts with a long easy warm up, a few ramps and a five minute effort to get your legs pumping. After that it's time to give it your all. Go as hard as you can for 20 solid minutes. Pace yourself and try to go as hard as you can sustain for the entire 20 minutes. You'll be scored in the final 20 minute segment. See I'm not very good at pacing anything yet. So we're going to look at the ramp test. A ramp test is designed to estimate your FTP. It uses a relatively short progressive build of one minute steps to quickly identify the upper limit of your aerobic capacity. The ramp portion of the test should ideally take about 5 to 20 minutes to complete. You should start out feeling extremely easy and then rather suddenly it will get much, much harder. It is at this point that the difficulty really shifts that you need to dig in. From there you should max out with 3 to 5 minutes. This is maximal effort until exhaustion. You are trying to record your absolute best one minute power, so keep pedaling until you simply cannot go any further. At that point, stop pedaling and the test will automatically end and will shift to a nice long cool down. This is a seated test with a focus on smoothness and consistency. Focus on keeping a good position on the bike with a nice steady cadence of ideally over 80 to 95 RPM. Expect your cadence to fall a bit near the end of the test as normal. Just don't let yourself get bogged down and mashing. The focus here is on aerobic power. Good luck. So it's saying my FTP is currently 187. That's an estimate from what I've done. Oh, there's different routes you can do. Let's go to France. So starting off with a five minute free ride. My RPM is pretty low, so I'm gonna change gear a bit. Get the RPM up slightly. Okay, here we go. Earth mode is on, so it's just going to do its thing. Not coming at 100 watts. This is the first minute. This should be extremely easy. Uh, I haven't got a heart rate monitor linked to Zwift yet, so I've got it on my watch. Heart rate's currently 80. Not the most accurate read of heart rate for the, the watch, but I've put a Wahoo ticker on my Christmas list, so if I get one of those, then I might even jump in some races as well. It's two minutes done, feeling all right. I'm now riding at 140. Shoulders a little bit stiff. Goosey goosey. 
this test will go from I'm fine to I'm toast pretty quickly. Okay, so this is kind of similar to a beep test, I guess, for running. So we used to do these at school and I was one of these masochistic people that actually really enjoyed the beep test. So I'm looking to weirdly enjoy this. Heart rate should be drifting steadily upwards. Tell you what we want for heart rate. 86. Definitely feel it in my legs now. I'm struggling. Keep going, keep going. I don't really have a target to pee in mind. I just want to know what my baseline is. So then I can do some training plans and work up from there. 280 now. It's getting darker. And not just because my eyes are closed. Can't do this on the road. Eyes closed, head down. Not looking where we're going. Up to 300, here we go, come on. Oh, come on, struggling, struggling, come on, come on, come on. Let's get to the next gate. 340! Oh, come on, come on. Oh, I'm done. I got it, I got it, I got it. FTP, 245. That's good, I'm happy. Okay, I keep calling down to the end of this block and beyond, so I wanna just finish the route, if it will let me. Get another badge. So that was the ramp test on Zwift. Uh, it, yeah, it starts easy and then it just gets difficult like a, like a wall. Very steep curve. It was good fun, I actually, uh, I really enjoyed it. And I got a new FTP of 245, which I think is good. I don't know. Well, it's a baseline, right? So it can get better, it can get worse. So I've got my baseline FTP. That's cool. I can do some structured training. Now knowing what my FTP is, I don't work to improve that. I've been riding for 30 minutes. I could stop now, so it's a quick test to do. If you don't have a lot of time, you can do it on a lunch break even, which is nice, or before work, or after work kids gone to bed, whatever. That's the ramp test on Zwift. I enjoyed it. It was good. Thanks for watching. Just a little video. There'll be more Zwift stuff coming up. Feel free to follow me on Zwift. I'm Adam Russell. I'm a member of Sussex Nomads Cycling Club, so if there are a lot of Adam Russells, I'm the one in Sussex Nomads Club. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'm going to finish up this route and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!